back to Hype Hunters. My name is John. I'm Caleb. And today we are going to be talking about why you should not be buying more Champions Path products. Uh, the ETBs are still being restocked in stores and so are some of the other Champions Path products. And we advise you guys, do not pick it up. It is not worth the time. Uh, it is a holiday set and you may be trying to get it for somebody else. If you're just trying to get like a mindless rip and not really expecting to pull anything good, then Champion's Path may be down your alley. But if you're actually looking to get value out of the packs that you pull, definitely steer clear from Champion's Path. And we're going to break down the reasons why in this video. Uh, to start off, I have the current Champion's Path set list. This is only a fair amount. I'm on PokemonPrice.com. This is where you can see a lot of the value of what they are most recent, of what the cards in the set are most recently selling at in a PSA 10. As you can see, most all the cards don't really have any sales because no one really wants these random cards. Uh, the Venusaur V, PSA 10, $66. Not bad, but like... Yeah, I mean, I don't even think people are buying that, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, I guess. But like, <laughs> yeah, not really worth it. But as you can see, that you're only two... If you open a Champion's Path and you pull a Charizard, you're good. You, you get your money back. But... Uh, it, the price has been decreasing a lot, and Caleb's going to touch on this a little bit later, but right now it's selling for around $7.30, and then the the other Charizard is selling for $7.20. There's a, a Rainbow Charizard and a Shiny Charizard. We were actually able to pull one of the Shiny Charizards uh, when we first opened up two ETBs back in early October, but uh, since then we have steered cleared from uh, Champion's Path because we already got our, cha our uh, Charizard. So uh, I, I just kind of want to touch on this as well. This is your pull rate for Champions Path products. Uh, this website here created, I'll, I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to check it out more in depth. But basically, you have uh, your hollow rare is what you're most likely going to get every pack. There is a hollow rare in every single pack. Uh, it just depends if it's a hollow, ultra, and uh, all these other ones. And as you can see, your shiny Charizard and your rainbow Charizard have very low pull rates. It is a 0.366% chance that you are going to pull a Charizard or the Rainbow Rare Charizard. So that should really tell you right there, You, if you're, if you're only gonna make money off of the Charizard in this pack and your odds of pulling one are 0.366 and 0.549, definitely not really worth it. And that kind of equates down here to uh, one out of a, 182 packs you're pulling the rainbow rare and one of 273 packs you're pulling the shiny charizard now these rates are better than current sets like vivid voltage your your pull rates for the rainbow rare pikachu are on like one in every thousand packs so it is you're more likely to get a charizard in this than a vivid voltage uh pikachu but still at the end of the day you're not really going to your odds are not in your favor in making your money back it with this set so and now we're going to kind of talk about the the other products that you can get here with the the champions path etbs so the champions path etb used to be about 85 to 90 dollars uh back in mid-october and early november when champions path was at its peak uh it released about september 25th uh, you could start finding it in stores, $50 retail for the Elite Trainer Box. That's definitely the most common form of finding Champion's Path because it does have a free Charizard inside of it. The promo card, uh, it's about a $20 card, $15 now probably, I'm sure, yep. as the price has fallen of everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see here, the Charizard Elite Trainer Box here is selling for about $70 now. So definitely not the price point it was back. It's even going down to yeah. $58. Yeah, a little bit lower. But as you can see, definitely not where it was a few months ago when it did release in October. So this is just a warning sign that this path, this product is probably going to continue to drop and you should try to steer clear of it if you can. Um, next, the card, obviously, that you're going to want to pull is going to be the shiny Charizard V. Uh, luckily, me and John did pull the card, uh, but... We want to advise you guys against trying to open the product to pull the card because, as you can see here, uh, when the product was probably at its peak mid-October, like I said, the card was selling for about $1,800 in a PSA 10 all the way up to $1,900. Uh, a few days earlier, you can even find some higher sales, but around eighteen dollars to $1,900 here. 
And currently on December 6th when we were recording this, it is about $800 to $900 in a PSA 10. So as you can see, an absolutely massive drop off. And I guess the thing is here with this card is, yes, everyone wants the shiny Charizard V. It's a great card. But as this set continues to be released, reprinted, and released more into stores, uh, everyone who wants a shiny Charizard V might end up having a shiny Charizard V. And what that's going to do to the price is continue to make the price drop. And the shiny Charizard V is going to continue to fall in price. And who knows how low it's going to get. Uh, years from now, this might be a good long-term investment. Yeah. It might boom years from now. But in the short term, if you're looking to make money flipping, Champion's Path is something that you're going to need to stop buying. Yeah. It, it, you're not going to make your money back right now. Uh, if you want to buy this Charizard, the odds of it going back up in price are, are kind of high once they cut off printing. But for now, it's definitely still on the downturn. I would not really suggest buying in right now because it's still at a high, a pretty high price of $800. I, I, I could definitely see that going down to like $500 a card uh, in early 2021. So if you're really looking to get a Charizard, maybe uh, try to pick one up then when it's at its lowest point. Uh, but also Pokemon hasn't really sh shown any signs of stopping printing Champion's Path. So I can see this this uh, this set be printed for a few months now and well into 2021, which is definitely going to drive that price down even further. So, and now even more and more people, uh, probably if you're watching this, you probably already know that you should stay away from Champion's Path, but this is really for the new people who are getting into the, the hobby of collecting Pokemon cards and modern sets in particular that may not know that Champion's Path is something that they should steer clear from. So if you are watching this and you're trying to get in, uh, I would definitely stay away from Champion's Path. Hidden Fates is coming out, uh, is, is reprinting their ETBs, and that is going to be the set that you really want to get after. Along with Evolutions, the Evolutions hype is still massive right now. That's definitely something, those two sets in particular are much better alternatives than Champion's Path. Yep. All right, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.